So easel by TPT, what is it? Who's it for? How do you use it? How does it impact me if I'm a TPT seller? I've seen quite a few questions about this in the last few days. So in today's video, we're going to dive a little bit deeper and learn all about it. Hi guys, really quickly, my name is Blanca from teachertechfiles.com and I'm a learning strategist from Las Vegas. And on this channel, I help simplify technology for teachers, but we also talk about how to be successful on Teachers Pay Teachers. And now we're going to talk about these big changes that keep coming up. So if that sounds like something that you are interested in, make sure that you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. Before we get started, I do want to address two big elephants in the room. One is a little more obvious than the other one. First, it's this new YouTube setup. I think that this fits my style a little bit more and I hope that you like it. Let me know in the comments below what you think. The second thing is that I am going to start using a teleprompter and that's just because it's going to help me make the videos a little bit faster and I think it's more important to me to get the videos out than to have a perfect video. So I hope you can forgive me if you see my eyes moving a little bit, but I think you're going to enjoy the content more. So as you know, TPT recently had a big release to the site called Easel by TPT. And it has a lot of buyers and sellers a little shaken up. Nobody's really quite sure what it is or how to use it or how it will impact our sales as sellers. But is it really as groundbreaking as we think it is? The short answer is yes and no. Let me explain why I say that and then we'll jump over to the computer and I'll show you all the features. First of all, let me explain what it is. Easel by TPT is just a way to easily digitize PDFs. It only works for PDFs right now. So if you have a PDF worksheet that you want to digitize and assign to your students, Easel by TPT makes it really easy to do that. As a buyer of TPT products, if you see the icon that says the product is Easel by TPT ready or enabled, that just means that the seller has made their PDF resource ready for you to send to your students, and your students will be able to instantly type right into the worksheet, show their work, and then send it right back to you just like they do on Google Classroom. Teachers Pay Teachers has basically made it super simple to take the resource that you already purchased on the website and then instantly send it to your students either through Google Classroom or through a direct link. I'll show you both options in a little bit. As a seller, TPT has essentially given you an easy way to take all your PDF resources and quickly make them digital resources. I know many sellers who only had printable products took a big hit in their sales when everyone went virtual. They had to scramble to make their resources digital in order to keep up their sales. So this Easel by TPT may come a little too late for some sellers who have already figured out a way to make their products digital. But that doesn't mean that you can't or shouldn't still make your digital products TPT Easel accessible. For example, in a minute or two, I'm going to show you how I take one of my Google Slides products and adapt it to Easel by TPT. Now, why would you want to do that anyway? The answer is to add more value to the buyers. Because once teachers start to realize that Easel by TPT makes it really easy to send work to their students, they're going to start looking for the little badge on future products that they're looking to buy. Having or not having an easily accessible product could become a deciding factor for buyers, and you don't wanna give up that sale if it can be avoided. So before we jump in and show you how it actually works, I do wanna say that I am thinking about creating more in-depth videos about Easel by TPT, but if that's something that you might want, be sure to let me know in the comments below. So first, I'm gonna start by showing you the buyer's experience. These are the teachers who are actually buying the resources and want to assign them to their students. So first of all, as a buyer, you'll know that your product is easel ready if the product has a logo on the page that looks like this one. If you see that and you purchase it, you'll have an option that says open an easel. You can still click download now and get the original file that the seller put up there. But if you want to use it through easel, you're going to click on open easel. I'm going to go ahead and click on that now and show you what happens. Once you click on it, it's going to send you to the new Easel by TPT page. And that product that I just clicked on will be at the top. You can think of this page as like a staging area before you send it out to your students. So this is not what the students will see. It's not ready to see for them to see it yet. Keep in mind that all Easel by TPT is doing is allowing you to take PDFs and make them a little bit more digital. So this seller has turned their PDF into a digital file by adding text boxes and things that the students can type right into. Let's go ahead and take a look at what the seller has already done or if they've added in those features. If they haven't added the features but they have opted their product in as easel, you can still go in there as the buyer, as the teacher, and add in the features for them. 
So if I go ahead and open this up, we're gonna see that this seller has already added in the instructions and basically digitized these pages for us. So for example, this one, they've already included the directions of choose four of the questions that you wanna answer, answer in a complete sentence by restating the question, and type your answers in the box. If you wanna see what the student is going to see, you're gonna click on the preview button at the top and it'll show you exactly what the students would see. So they're gonna see this text box here that they can click into and start typing away. For this worksheet, the seller wanted them to draw lines to match the answers, and you can do that now by using the pen. I'm gonna use one of my own products to show you how to send it to your students once you are done digitizing the worksheet. Originally, this was a Google Slides worksheet, and what I've done is downloaded it as a PDF and then put it into TPT Easel. To do that, I clicked on Edit Pages and then Import File. And this is where you can upload your PDF. Since we are in this Edit Pages here, I'm gonna go ahead and show you what to do to remove the pages that you don't want to assign to your students. So as you can see, I have 12 different puzzles here, but maybe I only wanna assign two or three of them at a time. And also my students wouldn't need these pages down here at the bottom. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to select all the pages that I want to get rid of all the pages that I don't want to assign to my students. And you click remove. When you click remove, you're just removing them from this assignment. You're not deleting them. So that's a really important verbiage that they used here. It, you do see the little trash can, but you're not deleting the file. You're just removing them from this particular assignment. So now my students are, would only be able to see these four pages. I'm gonna go ahead and click on save changes. I've already digitized these pages by adding the directions and including text boxes and movable pieces. This is what a student would see. Use the highlighter tool to show your work. So they're gonna click on the highlighter and start on 15, add 10, so they can go down to 10, add five, and so on and so on. To answer the next question, her favorite is, they have this circle that is now a movable piece. So this is actually the really biggest deal for me is that now we have movable pieces available to give to the students directly from TPT. They can type right in here as well. So the cactus represents 40 and the taco represents 75. If I had already assigned this to my students, there would be a button for them to send it back to me and I'd be able to see their answers. Since this is only a preview, I don't have that option. So now let's say that I'm ready to send it to my students. I know that they're only going to get three of these pages along with the cover page, and this is ready to go. So to send it to my students, I'm gonna go ahead and click on Assign and Review. And you have two options here. You're gonna click on the blue Assign button on the top right. You can either send it to them to Google Classroom or you can send them a direct link. The first time you do this, it's going to ask you to verify some of your school information. So once you verify that information, you'll have access to your Google Classroom or the direct link. I'm gonna show you both ways. Let's say that we're gonna assign those three slides to Google Classroom. So all you're gonna do is click on that Google Classroom icon, select where you wanna put it, and I'm going to create an assignment. And this whole part of it should be very familiar to you if you are using Google Classroom because this is how you assign most assignments. Let me just go ahead and fill this out real quick. And then click assign. Now the students, if they were to go to Google Classroom, they're going to see it as an assignment. If you've been using Google Classroom previously, then you'll be very familiar with this, but the students will be able to click on this easel link and it will open up the assignment for them where they can fill out the answers that we've already set up. And then once they're done, they'll be able to submit it to you. Once it's been submitted to you, you're gonna start seeing the submissions pop up here. The second way that you can assign it is by copying this direct link and then pasting it in an email or in your Canvas page or any sort of uh, school website that you have. The only thing that you have to keep in mind is that the students do need to have a Gmail account, a Google account, in order to complete the activity that way. Now, if you're a TPT seller, you just saw what the experience is going to be like for your buyers and what the benefits are for them. In order to get your products set up to be easily accessible, you'll need to opt in. To do that, you're gonna click on your account name and then my easel listings down here at the bottom. It will give you an option to opt in here and a message will pop up that says you need 24 to 48 hours to get your product ready. In reality, I just refreshed the page after about four to five minutes and the products are ready to go. Once you've opted in, you'll see a list of all your product listings just like this. And here you can individually select which products you wanna make easel accessible. Let's go ahead and walk through one of mine. 
If you find an activity that you want to make easily accessible, you're going to go ahead and click on Create Activity. When your PDF loads, we can go ahead and start working on making it digital. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a text box and I'm going to write the instructions at the top. But I do want my students to be able to type into these boxes right here and tell me what each one of these shapes represent. So to do that, I'm going to go ahead and click on these answer box at the top left and then drag where I want them to be able to answer. And then I will repeat that for all three of the boxes. I also want the students to be able to circle which one of these planets is the correct answer. So I'm going to make a draggable shape that they can roll over to the correct answer. And to do that, I'm going to click on shape and I'm going to draw a circle. I'm going to make the fill no fill and the border, I'm going to just make it a small border. If you notice, the little circles around it are blue, which means that it is not an movable object. And we can see that in the preview. See, they wouldn't be able to move that circle there. They are able to type into the answer boxes that we typed in, but they're not able to move that circle shape that we just created. So in order to make it a movable object, you're going to go ahead and click on it and select movable up here at the top. Once it switches over to these greenish dots, then you know that it is a movable object. And we can check that in the preview. Once your resource is all digitized and ready to be sold, then what you're gonna do is click on publish at the top. I've already published this resource, so it's asking me if I wanna publish the changes or unpublish the activity from the easel. You would just have an option that says publish, but I'm gonna go ahead and click on publish changes. And now if you go to that product page, as a seller, you're going to see another icon that says use as buyer. And that's how you know that your product has been listed as an easel activity along with this little batch that comes up. If I was a buyer looking at this product, I would be more willing to purchase it because I see that it's available as a PDF, as a Google app, and as an easel activity. So it's giving the buyer a lot more value and it's giving this product a lot more worth. Once again, keep in mind that your original file upload is still going to be there on your product page. Nothing is going to be changed to that. Instead, all you're doing is offering a new way for them to access your files if they choose to use your resource that way. Personally, I do plan to add the easel feature to my products going forward, but I'm only going to go back and retrofit my older products as I have the time to do it. I think the success of easel depends on a few things, including how many teachers start testing it out and how much need there's going to be for these digital products. Because of that, I do think that Easel is going to be successful and is going to start catching on more and more, but I guess only time will tell. I hope my videos are helping your TPT store grow. If you'd like to learn more about how to write product descriptions that actually convert to sales, or if you'd like to see how much money I earned on my first six months of TPT, click on the videos that are popping up now. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. My goal is to get to 100 subscribers in the next 30 days. Until next time, be kind to one another, and I'll see you in my other videos.